Cancers. Hello, Cancers. Welcome to your 2024 Black Magic reading. Now, keep in mind, I am not going to be doing any Black Magic. It's what people are sending you this year of 2024, trying to hold you guys back and stop your progress in life this year. Okay, so Cancers, keep in mind, this may or may not resonate with you. All right, so some of these messages, they could resonate with you. Some may not. The whole thing may not, you know, you take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. So with that being said, let's get into it. We have initials that are trying to block you. Okay. So U G O E I number 21, 7, 15, 5, and 9. So these initials could resonate with you. They could be first, last, middle initial. It could be a street number, apartment number child's age it, you know if any of these resonate with you you'll know and you don't make anything fit if it doesn't just you know someone's name could be gary uitzel i don't know isabella take it what resonates okay so all right cancers spell work love magic x third party witch doctors possessions do not accept okay so cancers this year someone is doing love magic on you guys now if you guys are in a new connection or you're in a connection with someone there is a third party trying to interfere within your connection this year now this could have been an ex this could have been a third party it could be a third party person but someone is trying to do love magic now that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to witch doctors out here and you know having someone you know put work on your jersey you left over at her house or his house or you know just something you know and this person let's say okay i used this in a previous video and someone had took it the whole the wrong way okay so love magic if someone was to go to a witch doctor cancers and you guys left the let's say this is an ex or a third party and you left any possession it could be anything i used a hairbrush as an example and she threw a fit about it i don't know why she didn't listen to the message but whatever i'm still going to continue to use a hairbrush as an example because i don't care okay so let's say you had an ex that you were dealing with this ex wants you back they're doing love magic on you they want you back they're doing love work let's say you left a hairbrush at your ex's house. They take it to some witch doctor and they have this love magic juju put on your hairbrush and they call you over cancer and say, hey cancer, you left a hairbrush over at my place. Come get it. Now you love that hairbrush, right? And you take it and you go over there, take it. Now you're brushing your hair with it. Well, guess what? Now there's magic on that possession that they put on because they know you adore that thing, okay? That that hairbrush i'm using that as an example it could be anything all right so co-workers doing magic fired set up for failure faking a friendship all up in your business what's your next move okay cancers you guys have some co-workers that will be doing some magic towards you sending evil eyes towards you this year okay they are not happy uh you guys could have ideas in your careers that could push you forward. And if you have a coworker that's acting like a friend, uh, just they could be faking a friendship just to get all, all up in your business this year. So just keep that in mind. Stay, you know, just keep your plans quiet. And if you want to progress within your career, make sure that, you know, you're not saying anything to anyone, any coworkers, because you're there to make a paycheck, support yourself and your family if you have one, and that's it. Okay, not everyone is going to be happy for you guys at work. Okay, so you guys do something that you're outshining someone at work and they don't like it. So they want to set you up for failure, either to set you up somehow to make you look bad at work or to get you fired, okay? So make sure when it comes to your jobs, your careers, you guys are staying quiet about whatever it is that you have ideas about. Just take it to the boss only, okay? So do not tell these coworkers your ideas because they could be trying to set you up for failure or they could steal your ideas or, you know, something like that. So we have voodoo doll. So 
their cancers is someone now this doesn't necessarily mean that someone wants or has a voodoo doll and they're poking around and making you guys have unexplained physical pain okay or this could be that they want to get one or they thought about getting one and they are imagining doing things to this voodoo doll to this voodoo doll that would you know set you back somehow this year so if you guys have un unexplained or not un unexplained physical pain or you guys have unusual objects found in your home you need to get rid of them right away okay some of you guys could be having dark dreams um nightmares okay so when you have that just you know sit up and pray wake up when you you know get up uh, or when you get up in the morning time and you're thinking about that dream and you're going what the heck was that i can't believe you know i just had that dream that's not like me to have these dreams um it's someone sending you these dark prayers your way they want you to lack sleep okay what happens when you have nightmares all the time you lose sleep and then you're cranky all day and you're you know crabby or whatever however you want to say it and you're not a happy person let's just put it that way and you go to work and now you're you know taking it out on your co-workers or your family members or your children or whatever so you know someone is you know doing work on you guys with either objects so if you let people in your home and they leave certain things that are kind of weird uh just throw them out or have that person come back and get them right away okay and if they say oh i don't know what that is just throw it out then spell work on your health and fitness stay focused eat healthy get up and don't be lazy okay so a lot of people in 2024 what do we all do we all go i'm gonna do this this year i'm gonna you know look good this year i'm gonna drop this weight i'm gonna do that keep it a secret okay keep whatever it is your plans your goals for the 2024 a secret because you have people um if you did end up gaining weight or you want to make a change a healthy lifestyle change you could be saying i'm gonna do this this year and you're telling people about it and and these not everyone's gonna be happy for you okay uh there could be a best friend you know a best friend could could always be the one that gets more attention or he gets more attention or you know things like that they start looking at you like oh well the cancer can't look better than me so next thing you know they start you know praying dark prayers sending dark prayers okay so when I say black magic, you don't need spells and, you know, all that stuff to do black magic. Black magic is just wishing someone ill, wishing on their downfall. That is black magic. So someone does not want you guys to be fit and healthy. You guys need to make sure you're drinking a lot of water. You're staying focused. You're eating healthy. You're getting up. Do not be lazy. If you guys catch yourself in the year 2024 starting to slack and be lazy, that is the spell work on you. They do not want you guys to have spell work or they do not want you guys to get up and be, you know, motivated in life to have a new healthy, you know, fitness routine or, you know, you're losing weight or whatever it is that you're doing to stay healthy this year. So someone is wanting you guys to have a setback in your, either your looks, your fitness, your, you know, your health, make sure you guys are taking care of yourself this year. We have spell work on your animals, animals going crazy, attacking people, attacking you or people, or they're going to the bathroom all over your home. They're crying, sad, shaking. So if you find your animals this year, that's funny because whoever commented, she said something that had nothing to do with that card whatsoever, but she said something about sex magic on the animals, which I would never ever say at all. So yeah, I don't know what she was thinking, but anyway, but when it comes to spell work on your animals, your animals could be acting crazy this year, okay? You could have a really sweet animal, and all of a sudden, your animal's tearing up your home. They're going to the bathroom all over your home, or they're starting to attack you or people around you, or you take your, you know, your dog for a walk, and next thing you know, your dog's trying to attack a person, okay? What happens if a dog attacks a person? Now you could be sued, right? So make sure you guys are watching your animals. And if your animal starts acting up when you're outside and they start trying to, to attack people, you know, try to take them to a place where there's less people. Because I do see someone wants you guys. A lot of people have pit bulls and there's nothing wrong with pit bulls. I love pit bulls. But 
a lot of people uh, want your animals to attack someone else. And what happens? People get sued and then that's a setback financially in your life. Okay, so they're trying to make sure that uh, your animals cause some sort of setback in your life. Or these animals just could be crying all the time and they're sad or they're scared. That is spell work being done, sent to your home, sent towards you, and it's hitting your animal. Okay, so what else do we have? We have Capricorn energy. So a Capricorn could be doing anything out here that, you know, anything. One of these cards, okay? Capricorn, Capricorn could be wishing all this on you, Cancer. Or a Capricorn could just wish one of these. This could be a coworker, friend, family member. You know, you take it how it resonates to you. I am just the messenger. I am here to make sure that you guys know what could be happening to you guys the year of 2024. Now, as much as I want to get into all the good stuff that's coming to you, I'll get into that at the end of this video. But I can't, you know... I want you guys to be prepared for the bad that's coming. So when you're prepared for the bad, you're already on top of the game and what's, you know, what your next move is when you know that someone's wishing on your dad, or let's say you have an ex out here doing love magic and you thought your ex was over you by now, 11, 11 on the clock, as I just said that. So that may resonate with someone. So there's an ex doing love work on you. So this, this love magic here, but yeah, so anyway, I'm just going to move on from that. So we have spell work on your beauty. So beauty magic, you guys are trying to be fit. You're trying to look your best this year. And someone wants you guys to, you know, not look your best this year. They want you guys to have, you know, weight issues or rashes on your body. Or you're not focusing on your body. You could be dressing differently. Maybe you're the type of cancer that gets his or herself presentable in the morning time and for the public and you that's how you what you do and you like to do that and it makes you feel good well someone is doing beauty magic on you now this could be regards to your hair uh they want you to change your hair some chop it all off and you know just not your normal look weight issues rashes not focusing on your beauty dressing differently okay so yeah so make sure you guys are up, motivated, taking care of your health and fitness. You guys are taking care of your looks, okay? Now, you know, I'm just saying your looks because there is beauty magic. Someone does not like the fact that you're, you know, you look better than them and they want you guys to suffer. They want you guys, you know, walking around in sweatpants all day or, you know, leggings all day, which there's nothing wrong with that. You know, but they want, a lot of people can make sweatpants and leggings work and it looks good on them, but they want you to not have focus in your, you know, your appearance. They want people looking at you like you just gave up on yourself. Keep you isolate, isolated alone and stay inside and away from people. Yeah. So this could be that X that's out here doing that. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be, don't have to be, but uh, someone wants to keep you guys, you know, not focusing on your beauty. They want you guys isolated, stuck inside, staying away from people. You know, what happens when you start to isolate yourself? Then no one else can meet you. You know, if you're looking for love and you're looking for a new spouse, uh, someone wants to keep you isolated so that you don't go outside and you don't meet new people and people don't see who you are. Okay, so make sure you guys are taking care of your health and fitness, your beauty, and every time you want to hermit yourself, make sure you're going out at least once a day and taking a walk. You guys need to sea salt, take a sea salt bath or shower, sage your home, drink plenty of water, and don't panic. There are plenty of resources. So someone is doing work on your guys' resources as well. So if you guys have like if you get help from the community, your friends, your family, um, you know, anything, any help that you guys get, someone's trying to stop you from getting that help. Okay, it's because they want to rush in. They want to either have you guys be lower than them or they want you guys to, you know, not have anything in life. And, you know, people talk when, you know, if you if someone does work on your resources or you get fired with this fired coworkers doing magic, next thing you know, um, someone's, you know, 
they're out here saying, oh, the cancer doesn't have a job anymore. I'm better than the cancer or whatever. And yeah, so someone's doing work on your guys' resor resources as well. Take spiritual bath, sea salt shower or a bath, sage your home, drink plenty of water and don't panic because there are plenty of resources for you. We have spell work to make you sleep around, even cheat on your partner, lust magic. So cancers, someone is doing magic on your relationship. Okay, so for those cancers in a relationship, um, <clears throat> someone is doing work on your relationship. They're jealous of your connection with your, per your person and they want your person to sleep around or they are putting this lust magic in your mind or your partner's mind to make you guys think that you guys have multiple partners. They could make you, Cancer, think that your partner has multiple partners and they're sleeping around and cheating on you or vice versa. So that could be a third party because we do have love magic out here, ex third party, okay? So this could be a third party doing that or an ex that used to be, you know, used to be with your person and now they're not anymore. All right, so let's see. Spell work on your new spouse, wanting him or her to hurt you badly. Yeah, so some of you guys will be getting new spouses in the year of 2024. And this ex of yours is upset that you guys have a new spouse that treats you way better than he or she could ever. So they're upset that, uh, you know, you have a new person in your life and they want your spouse to hurt you guys badly. So we have family doing spell work, sister, mother, father, brother, cousin, grandparents. So you guys have family members. This could be aunts, uncles too, you know, but you have family members doing work on you guys this year. I'll get into why, okay? Because I just hate when family members do work on other family members because you're supposed to be happy for your family, you know? This magic is set to get you fired. Okay, so we have co-worker doing magic out here. Uh, this magic is sent to get you fired. A controlling spouse could want you guys to get fired because they don't want you working that job with him or her anymore. Or you could have a co-worker that's trying to do this, a friend that's jealous of you trying to do this, or a family trying to do this. Okay, so yeah, so we have spell work to make you get an STD. Don't sleep around if you guys are single and you're sleeping around and you got away from an ex and you're done with that person. Make sure you guys do not sleep around because this ex could be wanting you guys to get an STD. So don't be sleeping around. Make sure you got, oh yeah, ex wishing this, okay? So yeah, and you learned your lesson with, you know, um, make sure you learn your lesson learned with the ex. So make sure you guys are learning your lesson and you're not sleeping around this year because this is the possibility that you could get one of these. So just make sure, you know, you're not doing that because this person is jealous and they're upset that you guys moved on from them and they're wishing that, you know, if they can't have you, nobody can. And if you get an STD, it's going to make sure that no one wants you guys. Yeah. Spell work on closing a cycle in your love life with your current spouse, breakup spells. Okay, so you guys are in a connection or you will be, okay? Because we do have spell work on your new spouse wanting him or her to hurt you. So you guys are either in a connection and an ex is still hoping and praying on your downfall to split you guys up, breakup spells. And yeah, they're wanting you guys to have an STD. But yeah, just, just make sure, let me look into this real quick. Okay, so let's see. Family doing spell work, why is this family? Let me get this deck. Why is this family doing work on you cancers? Why is the family doing work on you cancers? So your family wants you guys to be living in fear and overthinking, and they want you guys to go to ba old, back to old habits, okay? We have bad influences, unsupported family and friends, drugs or alcohols, bad or alcohol, bad habits, okay? So if you guys are staying clean this year and you're staying away from alcohol or you're staying away from, you know, drugs or whatever, I'm not saying you guys do that, but it's out here, so I have to say it, okay? So 
if you guys are staying clean, you guys are making sure that you guys are, you know, yeah, they want you in pain. Okay. So your family members don't want to see you guys happy. They want to see you guys in pain. They're, they want you overthinking and holding back um, in life. They don't want you guys moving forward. They want you stuck in your head, living in fear, overthinking. They want you guys back to your old habits when it comes to bad influences, unsupported family or friends, drugs and alcohol, bad habits, and they want you in pain. This year, I do see that you cancers will be focusing on yourselves. You guys are stepping out of this pain energy in the past, the 2023 left you with this, okay? So your family is not happy, okay? They're not gonna be happy that you guys are stepping out, doing your own thing, living healthy lives. So that's a, that's a shame right there. That, that's your own family doing this to you. So yeah, you have family that wants you guys set back in life, not happy, not healthy and living in fear. Okay. So lessons self. Yeah, exactly. Lessons, self-development, self-growth. That's what you guys are having. Okay. So when it comes to this third party, we have manipulation, controlling and toxic. Okay. This third party person, uh, could have been an ex of yours or an ex of your person's. They're, they're very toxic. They're, they want you guys to be confused and they're not seeing clearly, but they want you guys to be confused and not seeing clearly within your relationship with your new person. They want your new person to be confused or you to be, yeah, they're your secret admirer, but they're not so secret. Okay. They're watching you though. You see that secret admirer watching you. They still like you. They still want to be with you. And that's why they're sending all this, you know, juju towards your way this black magic these dark prayers however you want to call it whatever you want to call it um yeah so let's see karma for well let's see who else is doing this to my cancers we have capricorn energy out here so who else is wishing ill on the cancers it could be another cancer pisces scorpio cancer pisces scorpio out here out here with the knight of cups um yeah they're trying to manipulate you a cancer pisces scorpio is trying to manipulate you guys okay so they are a narcissist person and they are trying to manip manipulate you guys we have earth sign energy virgo taurus capricorn with this capricorn right here okay so you could be dealing with a virgo taurus or capricorn person all right this person is greedy they want you guys lazy they want you guys procrastinating this year. They don't want you guys moving forward. We have more Sun and Virgo. So Virgo energy. Uh, this Virgo doesn't want you guys to um, have passion in your life and move forward. Uh, they want you guys to be greedy, misdirected activity. So anything... <clears throat> they want you guys to be uninspired with no no motivation in life to move forward okay so you have a, a virgo doing that to you guys they want you guys to be like vanity you're in your pride and ego and you know all that so we have leo energy out here so could be dealing with the leo cancers uh yeah this leo wants you exhausted and giving up they want you you guys have new confidence in the year of 2024 you guys are moving forward you guys are healthy you're happy and a leo wants you guys to have destroyed confidence they want you guys overwhelmed uh they want you guys to have self-doubt and failure lack of confidence so if you're dealing with a leo be mindful of a leo that is wanting you guys to doubt yourselves in 2024 okay we have Venus and Scorpio. So Scorpio energy. Uh, a Scorpio is having wishful thinking. Or maybe you guys are having wishful thinking. Okay, you guys are having a lot of opportunities. And if you're telling a Scorpio about anything that you're doing, they're spying on you. Okay, they see... Uh, this is all your opportunities right here and the scorpio is looking over and they're like spying on your opportunities so and they see that you guys are getting new ideas and you know things are happening in your life so be careful if you're dealing with the scorpio gemini libra and aquarius person 
okay? Because they're spying on your new opportunities this year in your life. So just be mindful. Don't tell people what you're doing. If you want to move forward this year, make sure you're not telling people whatever it is that you want to accomplish because I do see people plotting on your downfall, which this is that type of reading. So yeah, there's going to be people. Keep in mind, this is not going to resonate with all of you. One of these things could, re one card could resonate with you and then that's it. I mean, even if you need to know this, sea salt, bath or see take a sea salt bath shower save your home drink plenty of water and you have plenty of resources if that right there resonates with you then you need to do it but yeah so cancers let's get into your finances because you guys have people doing work on your uh or sending dark prayers towards your work okay so perspective if you change the way you look at things, you could see everything in a brand new light that will help you get where you want to be. Okay, so Cancers, that is for you working Cancers, okay? So if you change the way you think and see, look at things in a brand new light, it's going to help you get to where you want to be, okay? So if you are that bubbly Cancer out there and you're, you know, being friendly and telling you all, you know, telling everybody your ideas or whatever it is that you do at home or whatever. This person is not happy for you, okay? So now that you know, if you're that cancer that's out there, you know, just like telling everybody your business, that your home, your life, your work life, um, you need to get a new perspective, change your perspective on what it is that you're doing so that it's going to help you get to where you wanna be because these people out here are not happy for you guys, okay, at work. They don't like the fact that, yeah, cancer has the ability to move forward in this career, so we're going to try to block them because he or she is a happy-go-lucky type of person, and I don't like it, okay? So that's what they're thinking about you guys. So make sure you guys are just keeping your, your plans quiet, okay? We have prickly situation. You need to... <clears throat> You need both tact and diplomacy to reach your goals. The struggle is worth the prize. Work around the issue and, and use a gentle, gentle touch. Yeah, so when it comes to these coworkers or whoever this person is, they could be causing you guys like a lot of stress and burdens at work because um, now it could be any of these signs I called out here. So keep that in mind. Any, this could be any of the signs doing this to you, okay? So, but this person is trying to cause you guys stressful situations at work so that you know it's going to slow you down at work it's not going to make you shine at work it's going to have your boss looking at you some sort or you know some type of way and then you're going to take it out on you know whoever it is you go home to and you're just going to be in a shitty mood so that's why they're trying to do that to you guys honest work it's okay to have a job that's not very glamorous get some experience to help you move up in the future success is a process not a quick fix okay so you guys need to make sure that you guys are um you know focused on whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish at work um you know some of you guys want to shine at work you you know you love your job you want to do you know you want to be known for what you do or you guys even you know it doesn't matter if you work you know it could be anywhere you know jobs that people look down on but you could be the best at it at work and you know and people don't like that so make sure that whatever it is you guys are doing you guys are shining okay because you will if you get more experience if you want that position a boss position a manager position you know if you want any of that you guys need to make sure you're doing the research study get those that knowledge that you need with regarding that position and you guys will be fine okay so you will be shining at work freedom you need to have more flexibility with your schedule and income being self-employed is ideal. Time off will help you get clear. So some of you guys could be uh, starting businesses. Some of you cancers will, um, you have some sort of idea that's going to make you prosper. Okay, so you could be self-employed this year and, you know, this will make you happy. This will clear your mind. 
uh, more flexibility. You'll need to see in the dark to maneuver the coming changes. While it seems extreme, just hang in there. This too shall pass. So yeah, this these co-workers, Cancers, are going to try to get you fired, all right? And if that does happen, then you guys are to make sure that you're, you know, you have a backup plan. So now some of you guys are saying, well, I don't think so-and-so would be that evil to do, you know, do that to me. It seems like a person would do that to you, okay? These people are not going to, you know, come out with their plans and say, yeah, I'm trying to get you fired. So just make sure you guys have backup plans. If, you know, you have some great idea and you always wanted to start it, start it right now. And then, you know, if this person ends up getting you fired, you already have a backup plan. You already have your idea in motion. Write these things down, you know, go start an Etsy shop or figure out how on, you know, you can find anything online. Figure out how to, you know, put your work online so to where people would buy it or be interested in it or something, okay? So make sure you guys are developing your ideas and putting them out there. All right, so... What is going to be the karma for these people doing work on you guys? What is going to be the karma for these people doing work on my cancers this year of 2024? So when I get these cards, these are the karma cards. When you see one of these, when I read them off, now you'll know this person is getting their karma and they were the ones plotting on your downfall. Oh, I'll take it just because it bad luck for five years. All right. So someone's going to have bad luck for five years. So if there's a person, you know, wishing and praying on your downfall of cancer, the year 2024, uh, this person's going to have bad luck for five years. So if you know of a person, you know, this year and it starts or next year and their karma starts, then you'll know it's that person because you just hear, you know, this person come, you know, comes back, gives you a call, whatever, and you start hearing all the bad crap that's happening to them. That is that person wishing either all of this on you or one of these things on you, and that person is going to have bad luck for five years. Uh, I'm going to say it's a family member, constant overthinking, because the family members, now I'm going to say with this constant overthinking, this is what the family wanted you guys to do. They wanted you in fear, living in fear this year. They don't want you guys moving forward. And they're going to be constantly overthinking. Okay? So, yeah. They wanted you guys to back to your old habits and living in fear and constantly overthinking. So, it looks like this family member, whoever's doing this work on you guys, wanting you guys to not be healthy and having self-growth and self-development this year. Uh, they wanted you guys living in fear and, you know, not being focused back, back to your old habits and all that. Some of them, some, someone out here is going to be losing teeth. Okay. So they could either get, uh, hit in the face and they lose a tooth or they have teeth issues to where, you know, whatever crap they're making up about you cancers, they're lying or whatever, you know, it's going, it's being infected in their mouth. So they could have like abscess in their mouth or, um, teeth infection or something is going to be happening. So if you know a person, all of a sudden their teeth are falling out or they have bad infections in their mouth, that's that person. Okay. Horrifying nightmares. Okay. So Someone will be out here having horrifying nightmares. So this could be that ex or third party wishing you guys uh, a downfall in your relationship. The breakup spills. They'll be having the horrifying nightmares because, yeah, they wanted you to stay isolated alone. We have bad luck for two years. This person could be having bad luck for two years, okay? So they could not be moving forward in their life. They're, you know, staying up all night. And then when that when they do sleep, they're having horrifying nightmares uh, because all the the ill prayers, dark prayers being sent to you guys, this is going to continue for two, um, two years. We have a brush with death. So a brush with death. So some of them could be having a brush with death. Okay, so if you know of someone who, you know, has that experience, then you're like, oh crap, you know, so it was you. 
So we have bad breath forever. Yeah, so whoever was uh, speaking ill uh, upon you guys out here, they people already smell the bullshit coming out of their mouth about you. They already know that this person's full of shit and they're just spewing shit out their mouth and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Excuse me for my language, but yes, that's what's going to happen to this person. Whatever it is that they're saying about you guys, people are going to be looking at them like... You know, you, you are, you're a liar. Get out of here. We don't care. Like whatever it is you're saying about the cancer, we don't care. Okay. So just go. So yeah. So let's get you guys some angel messages. So I do these readings for you guys so that you're aware of what could be happening. And you know, if let's say you are a cancer and you have an X or you know of a third party with these initials or numbers and it resonates with you, you know, now you can be aware because love magic, X, third party, whatever. And you know, I want you guys to be aware of what could possibly happen to you guys throughout the year 2024. Now, do I wanna give you guys all great messages and the good things we all don't always good go through good things throughout our life and you know any any person knows that it's not all about the good stuff you know you got to go through bad to get to the good stuff and that's how we grow change and develop character so i would like you guys to you know know what's ahead know what could possibly happen to you guys and you know if you start catching these little things pray okay to jesus and you know for your mind, body, and soul to send this all back to the person that's doing it to you guys, you know, because when you, you'll, you'll start to know if this is being, this is being done to you. Like, let's say you're right now, you're already started. You're a cancer that's eating healthy after Christmas. Okay. You already started your diet. You already started your fitness routine. You're staying focused right now. And now a month from now, somebody wishes, you know, that on you because they could see within a month's time, they could see the changes that you're making, the progress that you're making within your fitness goals. And now they're going, oh, I don't want that to happen. So I hope the cancer, you know, looks, uh, is not focused is, you know, starts eating unhealthy. It doesn't work out. Does it, you know, all that stuff. So I want you guys to make sure that once you start to feel a little bit lazy and off track, you guys get right back on track because that is someone who has been watching your progress moving forward of the year 2024 and they do not like it and they are wishing on your downfall, okay? So I want you guys to be, be prepared when it comes to this. Now, not everybody likes these readings and I'm sorry if you don't like them. It's very easy just to watch somebody else's channel or just, you know, click off mine. You know, you don't have to watch it. I was... I've been called names on my channel, which I don't care because, oh, well, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. If people don't like it, click off of it. You know, there's plenty of other tarot readers. Go find one that, you know, that will resonate with you, that will make you feel good and all that. I'm sorry if mine don't, but, you know, this is what I'm told to be doing and this is what I'm going to do. So that's just it with that. You know, I'm not coming after you cancers. It's just someone in my comment section said I go a little bit too deep in my readings and I'm sorry if that bothers you. I can't help it. This is what I'm told to be doing. I'm warning you guys of future situations that can come and affect your life. You know, I'm the messenger. I'm here to help you not go against you. Okay. So overcoming difficulties. So your angels want you guys to know the worst is over now or the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. All right. So this year, you guys will be any difficulties you had in 2023. Uh, the worst is over now. You guys are focused. You're staying focused. You will end up, you know, focusing on yourself. Uh, for those of you that do have an ex or a third party that keeps trying to get in your relationship, that's sending this love magic, this lust magic, that wants your partner or you to cheat on each other, uh, your spouse to hurt you badly or whatever, relationship harmony. Your angels want you to know, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now, okay? So if you guys had some issues in 2023... And, you know, even in 2024, going into 2024, uh, your angels are already working on it. They're already on your side. They know about this third party or they know about this ex third party that's trying to, you know, 
come back in and you know stop you guys from being together or whatever these breakup spells um an ex is wishing you guys would get an std because you left them um or they want your spouse to lust after you know lust after someone else so that they get an std and bring it back to you however it resonates you know that's you know, people are just sick and sad. They don't know how to move forward with their life. So they're wishing all this on someone else. Okay. So, but yeah, your relationship with your person, uh, your angels are working on it. So for those of you that had, you know, a rocky 2023 with your person and you still want to be with that person, I do see that, uh, things are getting better. So we have beloved one. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Okay, Cancer. So yeah, they're definitely working on you guys as relationships. Uh, you guys, like I said, could have had a 2023 rocky 2023 with your partners. And you know, it could have your relationship was tested in 2023 by either third parties or you know, uh, exes or whatever, however you want to put it. And yeah, so they're making sure, your angels are making sure they're doing the work on your relationship so that you guys can move forward in a healthy way. So we have indigo and crystal children. You have a bond with children in particular. You can help children who are sensitive. So some of you cancers have a bond with children. And you, this year in 2024, either your children or other children, if kids flock to you and you don't know why maybe you don't have kids at all maybe these are your nieces or nephew or neighbor kids or whatever and you know you don't know why little kids uh children come up to you or teenagers and they want you know they always want to uh talk to you or spend time with you or just you know they're always wondering what you you you're doing in life and all that is because you have that innocent soul and they know that so they feel like they can trust you so they flock to you because you can help them somehow you know if it's uh let's say it's a neighbor kid for example you don't have kids and you're just a neighbor you know neighbor and you are in your yard or doing something or working on something and you know you have let's say if you're a woman you could be a man or a woman whatever i'm just going to use this as a, uh, as an example you're out doing a flower uh garden and you have little girls that come up to you you know maybe their moms are you know not really paying much attention to them and you start at or their moms don't do garden work or whatever and you have these little girls coming up to you and they're saying Oh, what are you doing and you start teaching them and you start talking to them and they feel comfortable with you and it makes them happy because someone is paying attention to them or if you're a man or a woman take it how it resonates and you're working on a boat in your yard or a car or something you're working on something and you have little boys coming up to you or girls whatever and they're they're watching you and they're like having fun learning from you and you know all that you guys have a bond in particular with children who are sensitive okay so you guys can help children this year we have patience your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize still they need nurturing and patience okay so some of you guys are focused on weight loss this year all right you guys are focused on your weight you guys want to make sure you're losing weight you're getting fit you're healthy and all that and some of you guys are not going to see the results right away. Just make sure that you give yourself patience, okay? And you give, if it's your careers, make sure that you're studying, you're gaining all that knowledge to get that new position that you want to move up and ahead. Because we do have coworkers trying to set you guys back. We have family members out here, or family members out here trying to set you guys back as well. And some of this could hit you out here. Now, I'm just preparing you that what's to come that would, you know, for example, you could be a cancer that, you know, you're trying to live a better 
lifestyle this year. You're trying to, you know, be fit, be healthy, quit drinking, quit smoking, quit doing all, you know, your bad habits. Maybe you overthink. Maybe you don't have bad habits with drugs and alcohol. Maybe you just overthink. Well, now these families out here, they see that you're putting the work in to stop overthinking. You're, you know, starting to be more positive this year, starting to be more uplifted this year. They don't like that. Okay, they don't want to see you guys do good. They don't want you guys being happy. Okay, so if you know that you have family members that always try to get in your head, maybe you vented to these family members and you always said, you know, I wish I could do this or I wish I could do that. Do not vent to any family members. You know, you'll know if that resonates with you or not. You'll know if you are the type of person that goes to and says, you know, things that upset you in life, things that hurt you in life. And um, these family members always, you know, try to, you know, be there for you. Or maybe they're the type of family members that just, you know, wanted to listen to your, you know, setbacks or knew that you guys overthought so much that it set you back in life. Um, yeah, so any, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna stop with the family member thing. But you guys have family members that want you guys to go back to your old habits, okay? And just make sure you guys are strong and you're, you know, staying focused this year and you're not going back to any bad habits. And the co-workers that are trying to get you guys fired, make sure that you guys are keeping any new things, any new plans, ideas regarding your careers uh, private. Go to the boss with it and, you know, take it to the boss and see where you guys can go from there. If you would like to move up in your careers and someone is outshining you or you're outshining someone, they're jealous, okay? Make sure you guys are focusing on, uh, you know, building your skills up so that you can, and privately doing it without telling these people because they want to know your next moves, okay? They wanna know your next moves in life, uh, in, the, you, in your job so they can try to sabotage it. And when it comes to your ex or a third party that's trying to come in and, you know, sabotage your connection with your per person, your angels are definitely working on it, okay? So you guys, your relationship will be better this year. Um, it, whatever you guys went through in 2023, um, it was a test, okay? The universe tested you guys within your connection to see if, you know, do you really want each other? Do you want to move forward? Can, you know, uh, this lust magic that's coming back around, can it affect you or not? Um, if you accuse your partner, you know, spell work to make you sleep around, even cheat on your partner, lust magic, you know, maybe your cancer, your partner was not sleeping around, but you accuse them all the time of sleeping around, okay, and that affected your relationship. I see that being um, worked on this year, and but just make sure if you have these thoughts, and that is you, that just know that it's lust magic being sent your way. All right, and we have love magic, okay? Either your ex or their ex or somebody's ex wants to be a third party. They want to come in and try to sabotage it, all right? So just know that, you know, your relationship is being tested. If you really want your person, um, make sure that you keep that in mind, that there's work being done on your relationship. But your angels are out here helping you guys. But make sure that once you have this thought that, like, oh, my spouse is cheating on me or whatever. I'm, you know, I'm worried that they're going to hurt me badly. You know, that is that lust magic. Make sure that you guys pick up on that real quick and go back in the reading and look at it and go, oh, okay, it's, you know, it's this person playing games. And, you know, then you pray, you know, ask God, pray to Jesus to protect your body, mind, and soul, and whatever's being sent gets sent back to, re, you know, return to sender type of thing. Okay, so make sure you guys are focused on your beauty because I do see that uh, people don't like you guys focusing on your beauty. They want you guys to, you know, have some sort of weight issues, rashes, even hair loss, or um, chopping your hair off, or you just do all kinds of weird things to your hair that's not like you. Um, and next thing you know, it just makes you feel a certain way after, and that's that beauty magic being done to you guys. So make sure you guys are 
focused on your beauty, focused on your health and your fitness, you guys are drinking plenty of water, know that if you do get fired, uh, things, you guys have some sort of idea and hopefully you guys can work on it today if you watch this video or whenever you watch it and you do know that you have an idea start putting it out there to uh make some money off it okay because it did come out here that you guys have some sort of idea and you guys could make some money okay you could be self-employed self-employed all right so yeah so you guys definitely um have new opportunities out here coming to you, Cancers, of the year 2024. Hopefully this reading helped you. Um, my intentions is not ill for you guys. It is to, you know, keep you aware of what could be happening to you. So when you see little things that happen to you, you catch it and just think automatically, that spell work being done to me, I'm stronger than this and I can move forward and send this crap back to the sender. All right. All right, Cancers. Thank you for watching. Bye.